Hello and welcome to Wimberley Hall, room 111. 111. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how the audio video system works in here. So if you'll come over and look at the podium, in the left hand portion of the podium is our controller, which we're going to use to control the projector and what video signal we send to the projector. In the upper left hand part, there's a little box here that says display. Right now the off is highlighted with the light and that's how you can tell which one is selected. And so I'm going to go ahead and press the on button and that's going to power up the projector. It takes about a minute for the projector to power up and the light will flash a little bit so when the light goes a solid green on the projector or a solid light here, then we'll know the projector is ready. While it's booting up, I'll go ahead and log on to the computer. I'm going to follow the directions that are on the screen here. Control Alt Delete to begin. Read the responsible use and click OK. Then I'm going to use my 8.4 username, which is just like the first part of my email. Then I'm going to use my UWL net ID for the password. And I'm going to make sure the third line here says Eagle on it so that I'm logging on to the Eagle domain. 8.4, UWL net ID, and Eagle for the domain. Then I'll click OK. That's going to bring the computer up. And by the time the computer comes up, the projector should be ready. So what I'm going to do to show the computer to the class is I'm going to click on the PC button here on the right hand side. This is where we select our sources. And the far left one here is the PC. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and then it'll come up right up there on the screen. The other sources that we can select are the document camera. The power to the document camera is right on the right hand side here. It takes just a second for it to boot up. The advanced portions of the document camera are located on the top here. You have a zoom with this little zoom wheel and then the focus. And The only time you would really want it to be not on the autofocus setting would be if you were going to write something or have movement underneath the camera at a, con a consistent amount of time. Uh, in order to show the document camera, I want to make sure that the document camera is selected on the controller here. And I put something on there, and you'll see the focus come in in just a second. And there we have our document camera. There's a DVD VCR located right underneath here if you wanted to play your DVDs or your VHS tapes. Uh, select either VCR or DVD up on our controller. I'm going to go ahead and select DVD. That's going to bring my DVD up. Then I can either control the DVD using the front panel here. It just flips down. Or I use the remote control that's located on the desk. And I click play. And it seems just a little bit loud to me, so I'm going to go ahead and use the volume knob here. And I'm going to just turn the volume knob to the left. And you'll see the green LEDs kind of go down until I get it set to the right level. And that volume knob is going to be used for any audio that you're going to have in the room, whether it's the computer audio, whether you hook up your laptop, or you're using the VCR or DVD. The last source here then is the laptop. And all the connections you need for the laptop are located right here in this trap door on the desktop. We have an audio cable, a video cable, a network cable, and inside the trap door is also a power supply. So you don't have to worry about wasting your battery or running a cord across the floor, you can just plug in right here on the desktop. I'm going to plug the video in to my video card on my laptop, and then I'm going to plug the audio in to the headphone jack on my laptop. And I'm going to take that opportunity to let you know that any device with a headphone jack can be played through our room audio system. So if you had an iPod or an MP3 player or something like that and you wanted to get the audio off of it, just use the laptop audio cable. Select laptop on the controller to ensure that the laptop audio and video get switched. Um, and then if you are using your laptop and your signal isn't coming up when the laptop button is hit, that's probably because you haven't told your laptop to use an external monitor. The way you do that on a Windows machine is to hold down the function button and then press the F8 key. That will either scroll through the modes automatically, or like on mine, it brings up a nice little menu, and I'm going to want to make sure to be on the duplicate so that I have the same signal on my laptop and up on the screen as well. When I'm all finished, I'm going to 
I'm going to make sure to go back to the display in the upper left hand part here and I'm going to press the off button because that's going to power down our projector and save the projector bulb so that we can also save money and be efficient. There's a written version of what I've just talked about right here on the desktop and in the upper right hand corner are the names and phone numbers of the people you can contact if you have questions or need help or you notice something that isn't quite working right. We're happy to rush over and help you with anything you might need. Thank you.